Let's talk about the exciting world of drones. I'm Roman Dillet from TechCrunch and I'm here with Buddy, CTO of Airware. So what have you been doing at Airware? So we're making a hardware, software, and cloud platform for commercial drones. So everything from the actual brains of the drone on board to support the sensors and, and flight of the vehicle itself uh, to the user interface software and then uh, also a cloud platform that connects the drone itself to things like planning, data analysis, compliance, and all this. So this stuff. isn't about toys or stuff like that. You're not flying drones around. You're actually building stuff for commercial use cases. That's right, yeah. Uh, so, so how did you come up with this idea of turning the drones into like actual useful objects? Yeah, well, I mean, drones have been used for uh, mostly defense-related things, you know, as far as back as about 10 yeah, or 20 true, years yeah. ago. Um, but it was very difficult to turn that into something that could be used for commercial purposes. Uh, because the, the systems were typically too difficult to customize, they were built for one thing. And so we had the idea of building a platform that would make it really easy to customize the vehicle itself, um, but then would make it more approachable for, for companies who aren't experts in drones uh, to, to take this technology, which unlocks this really cool new perspective um, cool. and, and make th makes things easier to do. Cool. So what's the most interesting use cases, for example? Yeah, uh, we're, we're really excited about infrastructure inspection right now. So, you know, inspecting things like power lines, uh, cell phone towers is a great example where this is a, a dangerous job. So um, instead of having someone climb some, some kind of uh, some kind of pylon or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you just have a drone to look at everything. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's dangerous. You have to get up on ropes, and, and we're not going to you know we're not replacing the person there, but uh, we're just making it safer, much more you know much faster in order to actually collect the data that you need. And oftentimes you can get data that was previously impossible to get uh, with a human. So, in, for example, in this, are you making uh, the software behind it? the actual processor that, that these companies are using? What are you making? Yeah, so, so we, we make the flight software itself and, and we're b really big on autonomy. Uh, so, so a lot of drones are sort of manually piloted, uh, sort yeah. of like a toy, but we're more focused on you know, taking the human out of the loop as much as possible in terms of the actual flight operation itself. Um, makes things more scalable and safer and, and you can collect data sort of uh, more reliably and, and you know, the, the same way every time. Cool, cool. Yeah. So do you partner with drone companies, drone makers, so to integrate everything? That's right, yes. Yeah. So we, we partner with vehicle manufacturers yeah. um, and then end users of the system. Uh, a lot of the end users already know how to analyze the data once they get it, um, but we sort of bring all those pieces together from the vehicle to the hardware um, and, and a lot of the, the interface software that the, the, the user will actually be interfacing with. Cool, cool. So I'm really excited about one use case in particular. Okay. So agriculture use cases. Yep. Uh, do you have some stuff around this to make agriculture more efficient, let's say in the U.S., for example? Yeah, agriculture is a, is a pretty big market and uh, yeah. sometimes referred to as precision agriculture because okay. the drone allows you to take data from a much closer perspective to the, to the yeah. crops themselves and to do it more frequently, uh, which is a, big, uh, is a big deal, to sort of do the measurements frequently and then do change detection, very precise change detection over time, um, is, you know, will, will unlock uh, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of efficiency in, in, in agriculture itself. Cool. So let's talk about something a bit controversial now. Okay. So drones that are going to replace all our jobs, basically. <laughs> even, even mine, let's be honest. Okay. So do you feel bad about this? Uh, well, well, I don't agree that they're going to replace humans. Like in the, in the cell phone tower inspection yeah. case, there's still a person there doing, doing the inspection. The, the drone is just the tool. I mean, it, it's, you know, the, the drone is sort of the laptop, right? I mean, it, you need it to do the job and it, and it makes you more effective as a, as a human. Um, but it, it's certainly not going to, uh, to replace you, I don't, I don't think, in any time in the near future. So it's in addition to, to humans, basically. Yeah, it's, a, it's an enabler. So, you know, it, it allows you to, you know, to do things more efficiently. And it allows you to see places where you couldn't have seen before yourself. Cool. So let's talk about the company a bit. Sure. You're based in San Francisco. That's right. How many employees do you have right now? Uh, around 80 employees right now. Uh, Venture-backed startup in San Francisco. So do you have a lot of PhDs working on complicated autonomous stuff? Or? Yeah, yeah, we've got some, uh, a lot of uh, deep background in flight controls and robotics, um, some PhDs. We have sort of uh, an MIT, Georgia Tech, uh, <laughs> Boeing sort of core uh, contingent. So um, we're definitely huge nerds when it comes to the technology and you know, working on uh, a lot of the interesting autonomy, but then a lot of the sort of uh, business case things as well. So we have a whole cloud cool. team that's working on you know, integrating these systems with real businesses. So let's talk about this, this cloud, cloud service that you sure. have. So what can you do with, with a cloud service uh, for drones? Like what kind of stuff can you yeah, do? Yeah, it, it starts with planning. So yeah. you know, let's say you, know, you have several towers that you want to inspect. It, it starts in the planning office and you say, okay, I need these towers inspected. 
um, basically takes that into the cloud, will deploy that to someone on the ground so that the, the, the ground operator with the drone will then sort of get that job, collect the data. The data needs to then go back to the cloud where it can be organized, analyzed, um, and throughout the whole process, the, the cloud also integrates with regulatory um, and sort of compliance. So, uh, so, so for instance, in the cloud, you might ping the FAA to say, is it safe to fly here um, at, at, this, at this date and time in this location? Um, and then it includes sort of a, approval workflow. So, so maybe you know, for your company, you want to make sure that you know, this flight is, is within, our, you know, within our sort of safety parameters, and, and so there's an yeah, approval definitely. workflow as well. So I'm sure you have big clients. What's the, your biggest client and how many drones do they operate? Yeah, so I, I can't say specifically who we're working <laughs> with, but um, we're, we're working in uh, insurance, um, in yeah. the insurance industry, in oil and gas, um, and then uh, in sort of uh, the uh, construction, mining, things and like do that. Have, do they have dozens or hundreds or thousands of drones? We're, we're working towards that. So there, to date, there hasn't been a sort of, you know, thousand drone deployment in, okay. in sort of the commercial sector. The, the consumer side, there's, there's tons of drones everywhere, but for commercial purposes, um, we're, we're working towards you know, this use case where uh, you know, a big company who you wouldn't have associated with drones may have hundreds or thousands in their fleet. Cool, cool, pretty cool. Yeah. So what's coming up for the next year for, for Airware? Yeah, I mean, uh, hope, proving out this use case, basically. So, so hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll see so some... So scaling everything so that you have a big army, army <laughs> yeah. of drones. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, basically proving out, you know, using drones like laptops or like tools and, you know, hopefully bringing a future, you know, so that it's not crazy to use a drone, you know, for, for everyday purposes. So, so hopefully we'll see drones, you know, in everyday business and everyday life making things safer and better. Awesome. Thank you very much, buddy. That yeah. was Airware and you've heard it first. Drones are not going to replace our jobs. Thank you. <laughs>